हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज कुलदीप सिंह राठौड़ एंड वेलकम इन गेट वाला प्लेटफॉर्म एज यू गाइस नो वी विल ऑलवेज प्रोवाइड यू लॉट्स ऑफ नोटिफिकेशन वीडियो बट आफ्टर दैट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर रियली क्यूरियस लाइक सर इन ए नोटिफिकेशन वीडियो द सैलरी स्लेब इज अवेलेबल बट वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर मोर लाइक वाट अमाउंट ऑफ सैलरी डी ए एच आर एंड अदर थिंग्स वी आर गेटिंग सो गाइज रिसेंटली एज यू आर एबल टू ऑब्जर्व एर्थ पे कमीशन इज ऑल्सो फॉर्म्ड बाई द गवर्नमेंट एंड द सैलरी हाइक इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू हैपन सून यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन अपर coming one to year but uh, currently what's amount of salary the psu's employees are going uh, getting so we are definitely going to discuss this is the uh, psu salary breakdown in today's particular video so guys uh, we will also discuss perks lifestyle and more other features so guys this every uh, this uh, depend on different different psu's because each and every psu's have uh, uh, have a recruitment on different different uh, level like some psu recru uh, recruitment are in e0 level some even level some e2 level so guys uh, there are different different psus are there on uh, and the psu recruitment uh, are available in different different uh, like the level also so accordingly according to that particular level the salary is decided and the other perks and uh, dhr and everything is calculated so guys we will uh, able to observe the overall salary breakdown it will uh, it will definitely vary by uh, psu by psu so uh, do not be confused sir actually i am currently working in ongc the salary is different not like that. because it's a overall perspective overall a view by including the all the psus so first of all guys as you know uh, the central public sector enterprises count in this and the like different different grade and level are there e0 e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 e7 e8 or e9 so you can observe uh, the third prc is currently functioning and is uh, after the like a uh, pay commissions committee uh, maybe this will change okay as the like the central government job salary is increasing so that's why it will also replicate in uh, psus also uh, last time 2017 is happen and that time it's also happen in psus too so you can observe uh, th some psus recruit on like 40000 to 1 lakh 40000 salary slab some psus uh, recruitment you can observe uh, in a 50000 to 1 lakh 60000 salary slab and some maharashtra psus like pgcl ongc they recruit in the salary slab of 60000 to 1 lakh 80000 and uh, uh, once you join as a e3 level after few uh, time you will get promo uh, if you get a promotions then you salary become in the range of e4 e5 e6 e7 e8 or e9 so there are multiple grade level pay are available and accordingly the third parc you can uh, check how much amount of salaries you, uh, you are getting so guys 50000 60000 40000 these are the basic pay and uh, the 1 lakh 40000 it means is a salary slab you will receive 3% of annual increment so uh, like annual increment is approximately 3% of the basic pay and promotional increment is also applicable at the rate of 3% of basic So these are, these are all our features are there. So guys, like for an example, if you are joining uh, for, uh, in the salary slab of sixty thousand, then after one year, if your uh, like uh, annual increment is happening, then sixty thousand three percent will calculated and it will become uh, it will add add in sixty thousand and then uh, it's your basic pay. Accordingly, the other uh, like H R A D A on uh, every other uh, allowances and benefits get calculated. So if we talk about guys D R A N allowances, so it's a keep changing by the government. Like currently around like fifty three percent. something is going on but it keep change uh, keep uh, adjustment uh, keep uh, changes by the government as per the living adjustment and uh, uh, offset inflation it is calculated so uh, da is the like fluctuating each and every year you can observe the different announcement by the government but if we talk about the hra so the currently the hra is going on 30% for the uh, class x cities 20% for the class y cities and 10% for the class z cities so hra is like house rent allowances so sometime the uh, organization will provide you the accommodation facility like you can observe in the brc uh, but some organizations there are no, uh, accommodation facilities are not there and if you are not utilizing the accommodation facilities that time they will provide you the hra component by utilizing this component you can uh, like uh, um, uh, rent out your uh, flat and all and you can pay your rent accordingly uh, with the hra norms so guys if we talk about there are many other benefits are there also there like contributory provident fund post retirement medical benefits super annuitant benefits the other features are also there if you talk about perks and allowances then the range are between 35% to uh, 50% of basic pay uh, depending on the cpsc and grade so uh, like it's also fluctuating okay uh, based on different different things the transport allowances performance related pay are also there so performance related pay depend on your performance like how uh, you are performing what targets you are able to achieve so they all are fluctuating based on different different psus but general idea i am giving you through this particular video there are many other benefits are 
also there like leave encasement, mobile telephone reimbursement, company provident vehicles or vehicle allowances, medical reimbursement for self and dependent. So these all features are also there and there are some deduction also like PF contribution 12% of basic pay, professional tax, income tax, other uh, deductions like uh, company specific such as loan, EMIs or medical contributions and all. So there are multiple other uh, like deductions are also there but you are receiving the handsome amount of salary and after the, uh, if like the 8th pay commissions is stabilized and the CPSC salary also increase on that particular time then definitely the salary are uh, going in a good manner. So if we, I'm just trying to give you an example of one PSU through the NTPC salary receipt you can observe the starting salary is a basic pay 40,000 and then like basic pay uh, you can observe there are many other fund dearance allowances and everything are there approximately 99,120 is the salary. There are multiple factors are included in this particular salary part then PF deduction and everything is happening and approximately you can observe 86,000 something salary in the starting part. After like one year the, uh, he will get a one year uh, like he will able to get a uh, promotion uh, or either uh, like he is able to get a 3% uh, annual increment two three year after two three year maybe his salary level will also change so accordingly it's the depend on employee to employee like how much uh, uh, like extra hours he is working how much facilities he is utilizing the salary uh, depend on multiple factors so uh, for from one example you can observe uh, what amount of salary students are getting uh, after clearing the gate examinations and uh, if they are able to join the PSUs. So I hope to hope so guys you are able to uh, get some lots of idea through this particular video. We will try to cover individual PSU by salary receipt videos too. If you needed definitely you can comment in comment section. Rest you can join Kuldeep sir underscore PW telegram channel where lots of students who are a good rankers and they are currently working in PSUs. They are frequently sharing lots of insights. You can take them and you can ask them in a kuldeep underscore pw telegram channel thank you so much guys see you in another video till then goodbye take care